why is there a body of law called construction law that takes bits of crime, bits of tort, bits of contract, principally contract tort and a little bit of statute law? Why do you think that there are lawyers who are branded, God help us, construction lawyers, the construction barristers, there's a construction court, the specialist construction firms, there's churning huge construction claims industry? Why? Why should it be that? Because there's not a similar... I've never seen a textbook on retail law. But retail is a big industry. Construction is particularly complex, isn't it? Because you have lots of disciplines, lots of areas of liability. Divisions. Divisions. Lots of disciplines. Divisions lead to interface, lead to claim. It's a big industry. It's 10% of GDP here. Pretty much the same, I think, in major countries. In some of the rapidly developing countries, it's a lot more than that. It employs in this country a million plus people. So it's big and it's important. But it's messy. It's fragmented. For a start, just about every project is unique. It's out in the wilds of Case Ness, you're building a nuclear power station. Then you're building a road round London. Then you, every, every project is different. Whereas if you're in a factory environment churning out Toyotas in Derby, Else. You, you've got much more control, robotic manufacture mostly. <coughs> Each project is different. It's assembled from a whole pile of separate sources, divisions. And that's where the trouble comes out. Of the also, I would say another cause for the problems in the construction industry is its habitual historical use of competitive tendering. Competitive tendering with lots and lots of people take the lowest price, margin is going to be zero pretty much, and that leads to disputes because the minute something goes wrong, you're going to